Hey, it's Hunting Holden here again. I'm here to give you some more tips and tricks. I'm going to teach you how I basically bow fish on the cheap. I've been doing it my whole life. Uh, never had a ton of money to go bow fishing, but you don't need a ton of money to go bow fishing, which is the nice thing about it. Um, so one thing you'll need, you know, of course, what I showed you earlier is my bow. So you can just get a cheap bow. You can usually get them, you can probably find one at Pond Store for maybe 50 bucks or so. And the reel runs about 80 to 90 bucks. And then you have an arrow that comes with it usually. So that's the first thing. Second thing that you'll need, especially in the daytime, that's real important, is polarized sunglasses. These allow you to see in the water so you don't get much reflection so you can see the fish easier. Those you can probably find for $15, $20 and you're good. So that's very important. Those are key things. Another thing that's really important you can find is a stick. I call them bonkers. This allows you to dispatch it when you get the fish, to dispatch it quickly so it doesn't have to suffer. Give it one swift bonk on the head and that ends it. You can use a stick, a rock. I prefer, you know, using um, an old hammer stick works really well. Whatever you can find that works really well to bonk them. Something that's fairly light but has good sturdiness to it so you can whack them. Another thing if you're fishing big fish is I went out and bought a small gaff for five bucks. Uh, they work really, really, you need them if you're in a small canoe like I am with myself. Uh, when you get a big fish, you need to gaff them or else you won't be able to get them in. They'll pull off. So when you gaff them, you just kind of gaff them right underneath the gills or so and you're perfect. So I usually, uh, I go bow fishing in my canoe. So this isn't a real big canoe. It's wide so I can stand up in it and then I'm fine. So I can stand up to shoot and you don't need to. You can sit down to shoot most of the time and I have a buddy in the back that will paddle me around. Um, but a lot of the times I do, especially when they're spawning, bow fish from shore. You can do that really easily just by walking the shores and looking for carp. So these are just some more helpful tips that I'll give you guys along the way of your bow fishing journey.